What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the GT1 Let's Play. Last episode we managed to complete the US vs Japan Championship. Now, we move on to the UK vs Japan Championship. So, um, we have equipped the Chaser. <laughs> or we've gotten into the Chaser, I should say. Um, so let's, let's get straight into the next Championship. So, we've got two left on the main uh, special events page. Before we move on to the second page, um, so yeah, it's the UK versus Japan this time. So same as before. So there's five races. It's the clash between Jap Japanese sports cars and British sports cars. So it's basically just on the British side. It's basically just TVRs and Aston Martins. So yeah, the Anglo-Japanese Sports Car Championship. So there's five races. Requires the A license, and yeah. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so, Trail Mountain in Reverse, once again. Um, I think it's the same set of races as before. It's just obviously different vehicles, because it's uh, UK versus Japan, not US. So as you can see, there is the Cerbera DB7. Oh, this is a Cosmo Type B. Type E, sorry. Not Type B. Cosmo 20B Type E, okay. Uh, it's rare that you actually see the Mazda Cosmo in, in these sets of races, so... That's good to see. We've also got the Supra RZ. Okay, this is an interesting set of vehicles. NSX, that'll probably last. Um, although it is the lightest. Anyway, we're going to qualify as always, and uh, yeah, I'll see you see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, the end of the lap. Did a one twenty point six. I think that'll be first. Should qualify first. I think that was a decent time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty much three seconds um, in front of the super. Okay. Not bad. Very nice. Got a little bonus there. Of 3,000, not bad. Alright, so race one, Trial Mountain Reverse. Let's start the race. Alright, here we go. We've got the Supra, which looks really nice, and it's racing in modified form. So, uh, yeah. Let's see how we get on. The, uh,. Acceleration with this car is quite terrible, but, but yeah, we we I think this will be an easy championship like the last one. Although this server is getting pretty close. It is a fast fast machine. But yeah. Three laps per race, um, like before. Five laps. It's going to be a, quite a long championship, I guess, but not too long. A bit under an hour, but yeah. Oh yeah, we are we are we are pulling ahead slightly. Yeah. Right, is this is the server still behind me? I'm wondering. God, that was a bit. I wasn't a fan of that exit. Oh god! I'm gonna be careful with these curbs in this game. Cause the, sus the suspension do go crazy. <laughs> do be crazy. Um. Oh, yeah, I'm so far ahead now. What's going on? Oh god! Okay. Can afford to make those kind of mistakes. Yeah, I've always, I've always found that the handling with this car is really good, even though it is like you know quite heavy for an LM car. It's fine. Also, I don't know who that. I don't know which AI car that is in the back, but I think that's the NSX. Oh god! Because I think if I'm correct, it has like. The AI is not very good with the 
with, with the suspension with that car because it's you know it's it's extremely light. It's like 900 kilograms. But for some reason the AI just doesn't know how to handle it. So in certain corners it just it's just really slow. Anyway. Enough of enough of those boring facts from me. <laughs> Moving on to the lap, the final lap, third lap. We get 118. Fast as, I, fast as I've been so far around here. Alright, let's keep it, keep it going. Let's keep her going. Yeah, that NSX is so far behind. Alright, don't mess up now. Do not be tail happy. <laughs> there we go. We're halfway around the lap, I wanna say. Well, now we are. Oh, the handling is so, like the grip is just there. It is a little bit understeering, but other than that, no complaints. I'm so glad the um, uh, there's no risk of the. Well, actually, no, there was a risk because the uh, Impreza is uh, is a Japanese car. But I was going to say it's a good thing that the Impreza Rally Edition is not here. But anyway, that was race one complete. One sixteen five. That was even quicker. That was. T <laughs> One and a half seconds quicker, very nice. Yeah, it was the NSX. Wow, that's that so slow. Crazy. And the server was fifth for some reason. Maybe that has an issue. Maybe the AI has an issue with the suspension of that car. But anyway. First place, once again. Got 10,000 credits. Very nice. Let's move on to the next session. Yep, okay, so special stage route 5, normal, normal mode, <laughs> um, or normal track. Okay, so, qualifying time, let's do it. Alright guys, at the end of the lap, uh, there's no way I'm not getting pole position here. Um, there was a couple of hairy moments near the end of the lap, but still a 118, that should be fine. Fingers crossed. Yes, two like even with the mistakes, two seconds. Just so OP this car. Anyway, very nice. It's another, another. What is it? Ten k? No, three k. God, another three k. There we go. All right. SS Route Five. Nice looking grid. Let's start race. There we go. Special stage route five. Come on. Acceleration. God, that Supra does look real nice. It's got this exact same livery as the TRD 3000 GT in this as well. Which the AI does use the TRD 3000 GT in an upcoming race, or oh, upcoming championship, which uh, kind of spoilers, but oh, not really actually, because I've not said the name, but uh, you guys know already if you play this game. Anyway. Oh, oh god. Alright. I think we could just cruise at this point. I think by the end of this championship, or by the end of the next one, actually, um, it will uh, probably have a decent chunk of money. I think for the next championship, well, as I've said previously, we'll probably have to um, tune up the Camaro 30th anniversary, which I've got in the, in the garage, because it's US versus UK. 
and unfortunately can't use the chaser. <laughs> the great if you could bend the rules, but unfortunately you can't. Unless we unlock a, I don't know, a British or yeah, unless we unlock a, a American or um, British car, like a LM car, but doubt it. Anyway. What a great song this is. Alright, coming up to the final lap. I think, the su I think that's still the Supra is, is in my sights. It's actually catching up to me. Yeah, that thing is quick. Alright, coming to the end of the lap now. Um, actually a pretty, well, pretty standard race. No dramas. Uh, yeah. All right. Super has been on my tail. Well, for the past <laughs> for the past two laps, but yeah. But yeah, that was uh, that was race two. Easy peasy lemon squeezer, as they say. Oh my God, the NS the NSX is so bad in this, but yeah. Very nice, 18 points. The 13 grand in the bank. Alright, race 3 is high speed ring. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's qualify. Alright, 56-3. Should be more than enough to be pole position. Yeah, oh, ooh, only just though. 0.4 of a... 4 tenths of a second. Okay. The DB7 was two seconds, but damn. A lot closer this time. Alright. Race three, high speed ring. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. Race three time. This should this should be an easy one as well. It's uh, more of a high speed track, so. Got a bit of a boost from the Cerbera there. That Cerbera, I believe, is fully tuned. Because normally, like... I think it's fully tuned, it's like 430 as well. So yeah, it's definitely fully tuned, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh god, oh god. Bounce suspension. Right. Should be a quick one because it's sub sub one minute laps. Oh, come on, handling. There we go. Just the understeer. Oh, almost three hundred, but not quite. I don't think the uh, NSX will be last this this race. I think it'll be DB7 because that car is particularly slow. Oh God! And the grass a little bit there. Right. Speed. Fifty second, not bad. Onto the final lap. Play any other song. <laughs> like they used this one last race as well. I mean, it is a good song. Um, but yeah. All right. Last corner. Mm -hmm. 
Mark's got the Cerber and the Supra, I'm guessing, behind that. Or Supra and Cerber. Anyway, that was uh, race three out of five. High speed run. Very easy. Oh yeah, the Cerber and the Supra. Yep, thought so. The DB7 is horrendously slow in a straight line. <laughs> Anyway, right. We shall move on. Okay, we we'll now move on to race four, which is Grand Valley East in reverse. So, this one should be the same as the others. Um, we are miles ahead of the rest, so... Yeah, in, in terms of points. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's qualify. Alright. Qualifying complete. 1019, that should be... Should be quick enough. Let's see how we do. Oh yes, 1.6 seconds. Very comfortable. Get about a three gram bonus. Very good. Here we go, Grand Valleys two. Um, surprisingly not doing the the full Grand Valleys, but here's what it is. Here's me. There we go. Give it that boost. Tell you what, that NSX caught up with the slipstream there, so. He's a beast of a car. Normally. Oh god. I'm trying not to touch the curbs. Alright. Bit of garbage in the background. The band. Not actual garbage. <laughs> anyway. I think there'll be special stage route 11 again. For probably the last race. I want to say. Alright. On to lap 3. The final lap. Only made a couple of mistakes. So I think we're Gucci. This liver is sick. I don't know if it's based on a, a real life. Oh god, what the... I just, I just got some mad air time there. Um, yeah, I don't know if this if this uh, chaser liver is based off anything or if it's just... Um, because, I don't know, part of the Gran Turismo universe or something. <laughs> But either way, it looks really cool. Could be like a GT car or something like Liver, but I don't know. Lo a bunch of TRD logos on it, so maybe. Anyway, come up to the finish straight. There you go. And that was Grand Valley's reverse. Very cool. It wasn't faster than than the second lap, but still good, good enough. Super was five seconds away that time. Alright. Got one more race to go. And then, uh, yeah. That'll be this championship complete. Okay. As I thought, it's special stage route 11 once again. So, yeah going to be a long long race um so yeah i'm going to start qualifying now and hopefully we, we we should get pole position but let's see all right 153 i should have hopefully qualified first um let's see yep yeah, okay oh, yeah i was Mazda. yeah basically in the middle of that lap i almost hit the yellow and black barrier uh under the tunnel and um, yeah, that would have that would have definitely affected my uh, qualifying result. But anyway, we, we we missed it, so that's good. All right, three laps, special stage route eleven, about two minute ish lap um, per lap. Yeah, let's go. Alright. There we 
go. Okay, I'm actually faster than the super. In the straight line, so that's good. This song again, I swear... Oh god! I swear they've, I swear they've played Lose Control about... A hundred times. <laughs> it's just... Like, they played this song by Ash for, for like, like, three out of five races, I swear. Anyway, I do, I do like this one, but yeah, anyway. God, I'm just hoping I don't touch the barriers here. This is where I almost messed up in qualifying, but... Okay, we're good. Just gotta lift off a tiny bit. Then you're good. It's a lot more difficult with um, like uh, highly tuned cars that are not racing modified because they're obviously, they're obviously way heavier and there's more understeer so you can sort of sort of got to lift up a bit more than with a car like this but anyway should be able to stay in front the whole the whole race so decent Uh, spawn there. Let's get quite tail happy in the low, low speeds. Oh. Another thing that um, you can excellently do, especially with that corner, is you can actually accidentally turn turn in um, too early and hit the yellow and. So the white and red barrier, and then obviously that that then pushes you into the, the yellow and black barrier. I've done that quite a few times as well, but yeah, try not to let it happen here. It's so easy to do when you're doing like the the, the endurance races, especially around like around here. But yeah. Unfortunately, there are a couple of uh, insurance races waiting to this to this course. They're on this course. All right, on to lap three. See if we can beat a 147. Got my work cut out a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely not beating a 147 now. What am I doing? I swear I'm trying. <laughs> it's all good. Here we go. Can we can we do it? Yes. Oh, that was big. that was a bit too close to the uh, yellow and black barrier, but it's fine. It's all good. Right. Oh, last corner, and we are pretty much done. Done with this championship. Thank Christ. Okay. Oh, we just managed to beat the fastest lap. Okay, good. But yeah, that was uh, special stage route eleven. Once again, and yes, yeah, seven seconds ahead. I think that's the. The most, most we've been ahead. But yeah, 45 points. Um, yeah. I, I actually don't know what car we're going to obtain after this. I can't remember the prize card. Might be the concept card, I'm not sure. I thought it was last time, but we'll find out shortly. Got the 20 grand championship bonus. Up to 200, almost a quarter of a million now, so that's good. Get the new machine, check your garage. Alright guys, so that was the UK versus Japan Championship. Conquered. Uh, next episode we will take on the UK versus US. Um, I do want to check actually though, which car we won. Oh, the CRX Del Sol. 
a very nice LM edition car. Shame we can't use it for the next one though. Um, but it's still a still a decent car. Can use it in the um, GT All Stars and also the what, the endurance race. We can can use it for use it for any of them. But we'll most likely be using this one, if I'm honest, because this is just as I said the best car in the game all around. Um, yeah, for the next championship, um, probably end up tuning the Camaro here and um, yeah, giving it a racing modification and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll win with this guy. We'll, we will win with this guy. So yeah, for this episode, I'm um, going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and also subscribe as well if you haven't. And uh, yeah, peace guys.